It really puts a smile on my face to see more and more dudes embracing jewelry. See? But that also means that there are more mistakes being made. In today's video, I've got four common mistakes that you should avoid to be looking great in your jewelry. Hey everybody, Parker here, welcome back. If you are new, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. You do not have to be spending a ton of money to be looking and feeling good. If you like the sound of that, join the gang. Speaking of great jewelry, today's video is brought to you by Lupin. You've heard me talk about them in the past. They are a Korean owned brand that was started by three women who have generations of jewelry experience. I've been wearing their pieces for years. You've seen me wear them in other videos. I absolutely love their minimal design, but they're also still kind of statement makers as well. Everything they do is made from 925 sterling silver, which if you don't already know, that's the good stuff, the high quality, what you want. Everything that's silver that you see me wearing in today's video is from Lupin. Now. Let's talk mistakes. First and foremost, mistake number one is not wearing any jewelry at all. Friends, it's time. Jewelry is not just for ladies. You should absolutely be taking advantage of the fact that you can customize and really improve your style with very minimal effort using jewelry. For me, it's an absolute everyday thing. I feel naked if I'm leaving the house without at least a necklace, usually a ring, something about the feeling of it, even if it's tucked away and you don't see it just because you know it's there, it's automatically gonna make you carry yourself a little bit differently. And I love that even for a day when I'm just running errands or if I'm going out or I'm going to a wedding, whatever, I'm gonna be wearing jewelry. Putting on a few different pieces of jewelry is an instant confidence boost that everyone should be taking advantage of, which brings us to mistake number two, which is wearing too much jewelry. If you've been following my channels on here or anywhere else, you know that I'm all about having fun with my style, about really going for it. However, there's a fine line between nailing it with your jewelry and going just a little bit too far. That's why I created the 112 rule. Essentially, all this means is you're gonna wear one piece from two different jewelry categories and two pieces from the third, the three categories being a necklace, a ring, and a bracelet. For example, one necklace, one bracelet, two rings, that's the maximum I'll wear, or two necklaces, one bracelet, one ring. I found that this is a good rule to follow for you to maximize the benefit of it without making it look like you're wearing a crazy costume or something. Also, you don't even have to wear that much if you're only comfortable in just a necklace or just a ring or just a bracelet, whatever you wanna do, wearing one of each of them, that's perfectly fine as well. I just wouldn't go above wearing one, one, two. Mistake number three is wearing your jewelry at the wrong times. Don't get me wrong, I'm someone who encourages wearing your jewelry almost always, but there are times you wanna take it off to keep it looking as good as possible for as long as you possibly can. For example, when you're going swimming, not only can the chemicals in the pool or the salt in the ocean cause damage to the jewelry, but you're also running a really high risk of something slipping off or unlatching and you lose it and it's gone forever. Or lastly, when you're working out. I'll openly admit, I really like the feeling of a necklace when I work out or when I'm going for a run, but the sweat is just gonna build up. It's gonna cause the metal to tarnish and it's really just not necessary. But also these are just my thoughts. If you completely disagree, if you're like, no, I have to wear it at the gym, more power to you, whatever you wanna do. One other one, sometimes people don't necessarily feel comfortable wearing jewelry when they're getting really dressed up, like for a wedding. A lot of times I'll post a video about weddings and people disagree with rings or bracelets. I strongly think that wearing your jewelry when you're getting dressed up is a perfect way to customize your outfit even just a little bit further. Again, don't go overboard, but I think you can totally wear it. And finally, mistake number four is only wearing one medal. One of those old school fashion rules that I do not subscribe to, I think is bogus and stupid, is having to only wear one type of medal. This means your watch, your bracelet, your necklace, your rings are all gonna be silver. To me, this just feels a little bit too matchy. It can almost start to feel a little bit boring. I am all for swapping in another colored metal to fill out the pieces of your 112. So for me, a lot of times I'll wear a gold bracelet or two different rings, one gold, one silver. You can get creative and mix and match. I think it kind of draws the eye in even more. It creates some dynamic difference as opposed to everything being super uniform. Also, this opens up your combination options so much more. One of the best parts about jewelry is mixing and matching, experimenting with different things and figuring out combos that really make you feel confident. There you have it, friends. 
By avoiding these four mistakes, you're gonna be able to add a lot of extra style to your outfits no matter how casual or dressy, you know what to do to use your jewelry in the most effective way possible. I'm telling you, as you saw throughout the video, Lupin's pieces are gorgeous. I really love how I mentioned earlier, they're that perfect balance between minimal and also sort of a statement piece. It's just fun to wear. I'm always getting compliments on them all the time. The quality is fantastic, especially if you're taking really good care of them. Whether you're looking for some new jewelry to round out your collection, if you need a gift idea, you should use my code. Get yourself a little bit of a discount off your order. You will not regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If there's anything specific you are curious about or you want to see, drop it down in the comments. You can always send me a DM on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there, as well as on TikTok for tons of other outfit ideas and style tips as well. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.